video from the search scene where seven bodies were found today in Oklahoma, Henrietta, Oklahoma, just east of Oklahoma City. This is in Okmulgee County. So the background here is that officials are saying that seven bodies were found on this rural property here in Henrietta, Henrietta, Oklahoma, as they were searching for two teens. Earlier today, a missing endangered person advisory was issued after 14-year-old Ivy Webster and 16-year-old Brittany Brewer were reported missing. The two were reportedly seen traveling with a convicted sex offender. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol then canceled that, canceled that Amber Alert this afternoon. So this is an overhead shot of the rural area uh, in which investigators were searching again looking for two missing teens but instead they found seven bodies on this property we did hear from officials very briefly earlier today I want to play out that sound for you now investigate you know what happened and uh, you know try to uh, identify any perpetrator and um, just do that I mean, that's with any investigation such as this how would you describe your feelings right now or even OSBI's with how grave this all is well, anytime someone uh, loses their life, that's a, a serious situation. So uh, that's about the best way to describe uh, any uh, anybody's role in anything is to uh, say that, uh, you know, it's um, something where somebody has lost a life. Has McFadden had any criminal history or has OSBI been aware of him before? Uh, I couldn't comment on that. I don't know. Will you be investigating if there was anything leading up to this, if there were any warning signs with McFadden? Well, no, as far as warning signs, uh, don't don't know about that. We'll just uh, be they'll be looking into every aspect of the investigation that's pertinent to to the crime and everything. But uh, but as far as uh, you know, the tactics or strategy, uh, couldn't comment on that. Do we know uh, when more details will be released about the victims? Uh, well, again, the biggest thing on the victims, uh, I think, what you guys are interested in are the identities, ages, things like that. Uh, so really that information truly comes from the medical examiner. Okay, well. Will he yeah. be speaking to us at any point? I have no idea. You'd have to contact the medical examiner on that one. It's just a little unusual to have this many deceased. And we know McFadden and the two teens, but we don't know who the others are in relation to them, you know. Okay. There's, well, as far as the relation, I mean, there's there's a relationship somehow, but uh, but as far as discussing who is uh, what relation, uh, that's not going to be discussed right this moment. Will you be coming forward with any more information about the condition in which these bodies were found? Well, again, we talk about the condition of the bodies. That's uh, really the medical examiner and their investigation of, of the individuals. A minute ago, you, said you used the word perpetrator, but just to be clear, there's no one else being looked for at this point. There's no uh, nothing outside this land right here that's um, uh, you're, you're you're not looking for someone. Well, okay, I said perpetrator. Maybe I just need to stand corrected on that perpetrator, or perpetrator, because there's still evidence being processed. So if it leads to uh, anyone else, of course, those will be followed up on. So it, you know, uh, not to say there's any more people involved, but just uh, so. To answer your question, you know, I'll say perpetrator or perpetrators. I just want to be clear, there's no yes. threat to the public. There's, That's what the sheriff had said earlier. Yeah, there is no threat to the community as, as we know it at this time. What do you think the community of Henrietta needs to know most? Okay, would you repeat that? What does the community of Henrietta need to know most at this time from law enforcement concerning all of this? Well, just like I said, there's no uh, there's no suspect at large that we are looking for right at this moment. So that's the most important thing is that uh, that uh, there's no one else out there that we're looking for at this time. So, um, you know, there's no threat to the community. At this time, do you believe McFadden is the one who's been literally? Uh, who did any part of this? That's, uh, again, subject to the investigation. So uh, that's, we're a ways from having that completed, so there's no way to answer that question right now. You don't have McFadden in custody, do you? Excuse me? Do you have McFadden in custody? Huh? Do you have uh, McFadden in custody? Uh, there's been no arrest in anything right now. Okay, a, a short update here from officials in Oklahoma after those seven bodies were discovered during a search of a rural property near the town of Henrietta. Again, after police were initially looking for those two missing teens, a very sad story coming to us out of Oklahoma.